Hi, it's Liz here today and I want to share with you what I'm doing this year instead of my usual December daily. This is what I did last year to record December. Um, the usual uh, simple stories pockets filled with a countdown of what happened throughout December um, with some cards. Um, some birthday celebrations, some tickets, where we went throughout December, um, meals out, visits to a home end, and obviously this year none of that can happen. So I thought I'll watch some YouTube videos and see what folks are up to, and I came across Barbara at 49 dragonflies and she's doing a christmas collage daily and i thought hmm where's an idea so she uses an altered book so i have my book here and um, it had a dust cover on it i'll just get it to show you this one and when i saw it on the shelf i thought yeah can do something with that, it's quite Christmassy. And then in the shop, I had a peek underneath the cover and it had this lovely snowy scene on it. And I thought, yeah, that's just perfect for my first go. Um, so to start me off, I've done a few days, obviously we're now at the seventh. So um, I printed off Barbara's prompts for each day. You don't need to do them in order. You just pick whatever you fancy. It can be an easy one or a, maybe a more difficult one, um, whatever you think. And I've just circled the ones that I've done because that's what Barbara does and it just keeps you right what you've already done. So I stuck that in the front page and um, decorated it with some chipboard snowflakes. Um, in the book, there was 300 and something 350 odd pages and um, what I did was I tore out um, eight pages every tenth page and then stuck three or four pages together to make nice thick pages so there's pages being torn out I don't know if I've done it perfectly but it's suiting me just now um, and so there's now 31 lots of pages for me to decorate. So, there's my little introduction. Christmas 2020, not a normal Christmas. So this is not a December daily. Instead, a mix of craftiness and journaling in an altered book. I've watched hundreds of YouTube videos and I'm hoping it all goes to plan. Some days I will follow the prompts and some days I will just wing it. In any case, it will be fun. And I've decorated it. So I'm numbering the pages. And this is number one, which I did on the 1st of December. Use magazine image prompt number three. And this piece and this piece was pulled from a magazine. Um, I gessoed the, the book page, stuck down some vintage dictionary paper and then the magazine a wee drop watercolour some stamping from the stamp that was in my sweet treat box this uh, last month and some stickers that's, so that's quite a, a robin -y, um December Wonderland collage number two and number three were quite easy um, number two was this one. No, that's the 3rd of December. Number two, which one was it? It was use a butterfly. Have I not written it up? Oh, there it's there, 2nd of December. Add butterflies, but keep a wintry feel. So I've added butterflies with my washi tape down the centre and a butterfly on top of the Christmas tree. So that's quite straightforward. Pattern paper stuck down 
and then some stickers and some modern ephemera. Number three was the use the washi tape. Use three different washi tapes and I've used the washi tape to make the shape of a tree and a couple of stickers and number three. Number four and five, we've gone a bit vintagey. Um, a stamp stamped onto some dictionary paper again. So number 4th of December was use a stamp as a focal point. So that's what that is. And number five was the 5th of December and that was add colour using watercolour pencils or any other medium you prefer. So that's the watercolour, the holly. And number six, the 6th of December. Here we are here. Include a forest animal from a magazine, vintage book, stamp, digital print or a photo. So a forest animal was the deer. And that was just quite modern, but over a bit of vintage um, dictionary, which I chose the Deer page. And it's a Project Life card with some chipboard um, elements and a brad, two brads. There we are. So now I'm going to do number uh, day seven. So day seven. I have chosen a number 18, add a tag. And that's what I'm going to do on day seven, add a tag. Um, I have picked out um, a tag from this paper pad by Stamperia, Cosmos. It's got some beautiful images there um, and some tags to cut out. So there's everything that's here. You can see the tags here on this page. So I have chosen, this is actually a tag too, but I'm counting that as my tag. I've put a little bit of trim and a brad through it and I shall use those two. Um, I'm also going to use a piece of this uh, mulberry paper as a further collaged background. Um, but first of all, I'm going to add some colour using my crayons. Um, I'm going to colour around the edges a little. Um, uh, so I'm going to first of all um, gesso the page so that, that I'll take the colour. So we'll just gesso the page. Don't need to go right to the edges. I have to say I am enjoying doing this it's actually more fun. This gesso's nearly finished, I think. More fun than my December daily for some reason. Maybe because it's maybe craftier um, and more paintery and inky. And um, so, anyway, I wish I was going out and about, but in the same hand, this is quite good. So. I'm just going to give that with a, a blast with the hot, a, um, the heat tool and, uh, and I'll be back when it's dry. So that's the page quite dry. Um, and I'm going to add some colour uh, around the edges because I just want to set that on a little bit of colour. And I'm going to use the crayons and a wipe to blend it. So we'll see how this is the first that I've 
can actually use these like this. So we can see how it goes. You can see this, I had a lot of practice, I tell a lie, it's not actually the first time. Because the first time was five minutes ago when I had a practice on it in a spare bit. Yeah, that's okay. darker blue and then we'll maybe add a little bit of darker in this corner down here to have it about this size and we'll just Can use up those bits in another page bit of collage. Yeah, that's pretty good. And there and there, maybe. Texture. Pretty good. Yeah. And I will be stamping my seven, I think. Yeah, I think it might be there. And I will be brave and stamp it on there. Okay, time to stick. So, stick this. Use the three and one to stick this down. Yep. 
stick. Now, should we stamp first? Just no, we'll be brave and we'll stick it all down. This one here. Glue it up on a spare piece. Let's not get glue everywhere. Okay, seven. I'm going to stamp the seven. I'm just going to practice on this little spare bit just to see how this reacts. line there but I'm happy with that it just adds to the overall collage I think um, pretty happy with that actually I think I might put another line of this um, trim in that space there yeah I think that would be pretty good see if I can get a bit without a fold Yes, I quite like that there. Just make it. To about here. And we'll just free the edges a wee bit. That'll match the, the tag that. Yeah. That's pretty good. And So, day seven in my December collage, number 18, done on the 7th of December. Yeah, pretty pleased with that. It's coming on. And this is recycled sari, tea, sari ribbon, which I got from Etsy. Um, I've never come across it before, but somebody on YouTube used it and it's 
does the trick. Because maybe once I've done all my days, it will get pretty fat and um, that will keep it nice and closed. So there we are. I hope you quite enjoyed that and I'll see you maybe next week um, and I'll have moved on a few days. Thanks for watching. Bye.